Hi guys, it's your girl, and today's video is kind of a weird one, I guess. Um, it's just on like some fashion tips and beauty tips and things from me about springing into spring and hopping into it and really getting into it and really loving it and making the most of the color and the ex and and the easy experimentation and stuff, you know. Um, if you do like it, remember to give it a like, a thumbs up, and remember to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're not part of the family already. As soon as I get up to a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, so you've got to be subscribed for that, though. Um, hope you guys like this video, and I don't know, let's just pop into it. Alright, so this first outfit is wearing a floral Pagani dress. It's really pretty, it's quite summery, but you can turn it into more of a springy look. With a knitted jersey from Supri, I think. Some black heels from I don't know where, but they're nice. And a staple chain necklace, which I'm in love with. Just a really nice and easy outfit that anyone can get away with, and I really do like it. This next one is just a black knit dress that I actually got from the warehouse. It's just so nice and it's comfortable and it's just easy to wear. And oh my gosh, guys, like if you don't have a black knit dress, you need one. Like, I'm not even kidding. So, yep. And then this next one's kind of a little bit more cheeky and a little bit more like party appropriate, I think. It's just a little red kimono thing with a black crop top by Supri and a little red skirt from Cotton On. This is my favorite outfit, as you guys can tell so so pretty and pen party like and ah just i love it i love it i love it i love it and then this next one is just a top from supri it's really pretty it's quite it's really easy to wear and then these ripped raw jeans from supri again easy to wear really comfortable and it really does help you transition from more of the colder months to the warmer months which i love about it so yeah more party Okay, so that was that. So now, like, on to more beauty things. Less fashion, more beauty. Um, actually, no, we'll go more fashion and then we'll go to beauty. Like, don't be afraid to sort of mix up your look. So for me, like, this has become kind of my statement, my main, my staple piece for me at the moment for jewelry wise. It's just a little chain necklace from Colette Heyman, I think. Um, I really like it, but then again, like, I'll probably swap in this piece here, swap it out for this once in a while because it's spring you know you can really I feel like spring is the month where you can play around with your colors and play around with it a little bit more before summer hits and then summer hits and everybody goes oh I want to be a total babe you know whereas like I feel like spring you can be a little bit more free and a little bit more experimental because the weather's going to be changing constantly like where I am at the moment it's it'll be sunny and it'll be really hot and then the next minute it'll go and it'll be rainy so you know like you can really experiment and play with it so yeah, like, play with your jewellery, like, I definitely will be swapping this out a bit. Play with your footwear, like, wear, like, sport, you know, you've got a boyfriend jeans and a white t-shirt, but then swap out your footwear for some really cool, funky things like these. Um, because they're bright and it adds that pop of colour and that pop of interest to your look, as well as it's fun. And fashion is fun. Or even if you've got, like, a pair of, if you've got, like, five or six pairs of these, like I know I do, I'm going to definitely customise some of them up by painting them with nail polish on bits, on areas. Just to make them more colourful, you know? Beauty wise, um, again, with the whole experimenting with colour, I really think that this is the time where you're going to be wanting to experiment with a lot more colour. I know that in like autumn and winter, everybody's kind of like, oh yes, maroons, dark, purple, berries. Whereas in spring and summer, I feel like everyone's like, yes, give me that right, bright, you know, give me all the colour that you can get. So. These are really good if you want to experiment and start off little then you could just start by popping a really nice coloured waterline in your eye um, like a really nice eyeliner on your waterline These are the cheeky ones if you warm them up Here's a tip that I've learnt from these If you blast the tip of it with a hairdryer for a bit and then you pop it on your waterline A it will it, like, it last a lot longer It's more creamier And these are just amazing These are the Chi Chi waterproof gel eyeliners um, I've got, I did a review on these, I really like them and they're just an easy way to get kind of, to kick yourself more into the whole colourful spring kind of idea I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, you could experiment with your blushes a bit like, the, this is a nice little peachy orangey shade. You could try popping that on to, you know, ease your way in or you could try with a more vibrant purpley bubblegummy purple shade, I don't know. This one's actually, this one's bubblegum. Or you could try with a bright, hot bubblegum pink and just apply that, you know? And it really adds a pop of colour and it'll help you like ease into spring a bit more. 
That's what I feel like anyway. Or you could even go like neutral everywhere else and then just go bang them on, on your lips to make people go wow. So this is a really nice look option. It's it's really affordable too. Um, it's just a purple lip gloss thing. Can y'all see that? See that? It's really pretty. Whether that's a purple that you want to go for or a neon, sort of like a neony babyish pink shade. This one's a really gross. Excuse it, looks sick. Or even a softer pink that's still quite bright, you know. Or if you feel a lot more comfortable, then you could even add some eyeshadow. This is a really good palette to pick up, by the way. I've, it's really worn out and used. It's the Makeup Revolution Ultra pa Ultra Professional Eyeshadow Eyes Like Angels palette. It's got a lot. It's got e such a nice range of colors. They're so pigmented, like that one, that orange one there, electric blue, what other ones do we have, green, purple, you know you've got a really nice selection of colours and they're all so pigmented and buttery and creamy and nice, so I mean you do you, I think spring is definitely I really like it's one of my favourite seasons um, because it's not what it's not blazing hot but it's not freezing and you, you know you're kind of easing away from autumn to, to being summer and it's just a really nice time of year you know um, I just I love it and it's such a nice time of year to really experiment with your fashion with your style like I mean you'll probably catch me wearing like thinner skinny jeans still in spring but I'll wear it with like a singlet and sandals or something it's just such a nice time because it's not too hot but it's not too cold to wear anything so you could pretty much just wear almost anything you know it's, it's such a nice time of year. i really like it anyway i hope you guys like this little video um if you did remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe please let me know what other video you guys want to see next because i don't know what other videos from i was thinking of doing like a diy so um if you guys want to see a diy if you guys actually i will post up i'm going to post a diy video tonight so you guys get two videos in one day how exciting um if you guys want to see me doing a look with this eyeshadow palette comment um if you want to see in the vlog let me know let me know what other things you want to you want to see from me and i'll make it happen anyway i love you all and i will see you hopefully soon see you later